Good morning, Robin. You know, when the pandemic hit, it caused a ripple effect for so many families. For Tiffany and Michael Hayes, it meant finding a new way to provide that special care for their daughter, London. Now, we're going to talk to the Hayes family in just a moment, but for right now, take a look at their story. Since the moment she was born, Tiffany and Michael Hayes have watched in wonder as their daughter, London, grew and changed before their eyes. But around 10 months old, as London was beginning to eat solid foods, she choked on some sweet potato, triggering anxiety around eating. She vomited very bad. From there on, it became worse where she didn't want to eat anything. In August of 2019, London's pediatrician recommended she visit Mount Washington Pediatric Hospital in Baltimore, where healthcare workers helped the Hayes understand what was happening to their daughter. It was uncharted territory, and eating is how you live. Mm -hmm. So as first-time parents, we were very worried that she wasn't getting what she needed. Mount Washington pairs children like London with licensed clinicians who create individualized feeding programs, focusing not just on mealtime, but also playtime. London's clinicians diagnosed her with feeding difficulties and started her on a strict occupational wow. therapy regimen. She was still drinking from bottles, usually only drinking high-calorie liquids at that point. So we got her to kind of work on some of those chewing skills and getting her more toward a typical diet. And just as London was making progress, the pandemic hit. What was going through your mind when the lockdown started going on and you knew that the level of care that London was getting at the time was going to have to change? We were right back at square one again. We were scared, fearful. Sit down while you eat. London transitioned okay. from in-person therapy to telehealth visits. We didn't really know like how long we're gonna be pivoting to a different type of treatment. Take a bit bite. Once we started to implement the plan of having Tiffany lead the sessions. There you go. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the London that I've been missing. What was that like for you, having to take charge of London's care? It became a job, I mean, making sure that she still gets what she needs through a computer. It became natural. She knew what to expect coming to the dinner table, coming to the lunch table, coming to the snack table. Doing it all by yourself? That's amazing. These healthcare workers were relentless, doing everything they could to keep their doors open, making sure kids like London were still getting help. Yes, it was scary. Yes, it was stressful. But everybody knew that the, what they had to do in order to make sure that the children that we serve and their families had the best possible care during this pandemic. We had children who still were here, who had needs, who needed to be seen on a daily basis. And we can't just shut that down. It kind of helped you forget about the pandemic almost for a little bit and just focus on making these kids better. Now, three years old, London is thriving eating more foods than ever before. Now she's eating mac and cheese, grilled cheese sandwiches. She eats her carrots. It was a miracle. I feel that she can be successful because she no longer has that eating problem holding her back. Mm. Now, I am here with the Hayes family, and of course, just a handful of those wonderful healthcare heroes here that did everything they can to keep these doors open. Now, Michael, you said that it was a miracle that your daughter, London, is here with you here today. Absolutely. And we also heard that she's a bit of a fan of Minnie Mouse. She is. <laughs> now, we just wanted to do something for her because she's been so brave this past year. London, I got a little surprise for you. Oh, wow. Why don't you take a look? <laughs> Tiffany, Michael, we know how hard this entire year has been for you. We know how difficult it's been. Disney, they heard your story and they wanted to do something a little help, you know, just to brighten your mood a little bit. Guess what? Guys, you are going to Disney World. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> we truly appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. We was not expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> now, we also wanted to do something with the, for these wonderful healthcare heroes. You know, everyone you see here, they've done everything they can to keep these doors open, offering that special care for children like London and so many others. Guys, we got something for you. Come on up. Let's see what's going on in that truck right now. <laughs> All of this is for you thousands upon thousands of toys right here all for you. It's from the Children's Starlight Foundation. Disney, what they do, they go around the children's hospitals 
and they offer toys, books, games, everything from all of Disney's beloved, beloved brand. Now, inside that truck is also 500 uniforms, or should I say, Tuny forms <laughs> that these <laughs> healthcare heroes are going to wear on the floor. And on top of all that, of course, we have more. Disney is offering you $5,000 worth of merchandise credit to spend at Disney.com. How about that, guys? <laughs> It's a magical moment.